Welcome to Zoomerang Day 5. Today we're doing a Straya Sun Pillow. Australia is considered one of the sunniest countries in the world. This Straya Sun Pillow is to help remind you to be a light for Jesus, pointing others to our amazing God. This is our main mission on earth. Some of the materials you will need will be yellow fleece, two 12 inch squares per child, pillow stuffing, about one and a half ounces per child, white poster board, one sheet, and then safety pins, one per child. <clears throat> Some tools and supplies you will need is a quarter inch hole punch, fabric scissors, a ruler, and a marker. The pre-prep on this one is a little time consuming, and this is where we try to s simplify it down enough to help everyone so it doesn't take as much time. So with your poster board, what you're going to do is make an 11 inch and an eight and a half inch diameter circle pattern from the poster board. Using the hole punch, make 16 evenly spaced notches around the rim of the 11 inch pattern, like on a clock. First notch out of the 12, three, six, and nine positions. Then put the three notches between each of those points for a total of 16. Once you have that in place, you'll put the fleece underneath it. Make sure you have the two pieces of fleece Pin it together <clears throat> with a safety pin. Once you have it all together, the two pieces with the safety pin, you'll center your poster board on top. That is your new template that you can use on each part of the fleece. From there, you'll use the marker to mark each one of the circles. And you can even possibly put a little thin line in here just to kind of keep it in place as you're cutting along it. Okay. Once you have it all lined up, you want to keep the template on there. And then as we've shown in this picture, you want to do it up here, sorry. Oh. Um, we use little fabric clips to hold it in place so it doesn't shift on you when you're actually cutting the fleece. Okay. Once you've done that, you'll then go ahead and start cutting the 16 flaps with your fabric scissors and lighting it to the center where there, there should be dots where to stop. Once you've done that, then you'll divide the pillow stuffing into the one and a half ounce portions. We recommend putting it into like a little 16 ounce bag so it's portioned out for each kid. That's the right amount that you'll need for inside the pillow at the end. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and assemble. So the first thing that you'll do is with the two fleece circles still pinned together and the 16 sets of flaps properly lined up, tie one of the sets of the flaps together and use a simple overhand knot. It is recommended, like she's showing you, to keep it on the table so we don't accidentally miss one of the flaps as you're tying the knots. You'll then continue to tie the knots all the way around until you have three flaps left. Do not knot those yet, because that's when you'll end up uh, loading in the fleece. So we went ahead and did that, so she has three flaps left. What she'll do then is remove the safety pin and insert the batting inside of the sun pillow. Once it's safely inside centered, then you'll go ahead and close off the last three flaps of the sun pillow. And there is your day five Straya sun pillow. We do have a version two of the sun pillow for day five. This is for pre-primaries. It is very simple and easy to do. The supplies that you'll need is the visor pattern on yellow cardstock. You'll need an elastic string, 14 inches per child, and a whole reinforcement labels, two per child. Tools you'll need is an orange and red crayon marker, scissors, and a quarter inch hole punch. Pre-prep for these visors, again, since it is pre-primaries, we do recommend that you cut those out and ready to go, as well as the hole punches on either side of the visor. Then you'll also want to be sure to add the whole reinforcement labels around the hole punches to secure it so it doesn't tear. From there, what you'll do is allow the kids to color the visor with their crayons or markers, however they wish. Once they're done with that, you'll simply line up the elastic strap, knot it down with an overhand knot twice to secure it in place. Okay. 
right? And once you have both sides knotted, this is your day five pre-primary sunny visor.